when I graduated from drama school, my first job was um, pretty much the day after I graduated, was to turn up at a car park and jump on a bus and head down to Christchurch to work in um, Paparoa Men's Prison. So I was 22, fresh out of drama school. Um, it had all been about me and my feelings for three years. And um, suddenly I walked into a high security wing of a men's prison and it wasn't about me anymore. It was about um, those men and, and their stories. And um, for me, even now, you know, it was 15 years ago and it was, it was a life-changing moment in my life. It, it taught me so much about um, humanity, um, about right and wrong and about... Um, about healing and um, and and the systems that we're trapped in in New Zealand um, that can start from in utero um, and are very hard to break out of. So um, that was that's sort of the um, inciting incident um, for for this piece. Um, I'm working with another actor called Rob Mukaraka, who's a great friend of mine and an amazing um, actor. And um, he's very passionate about men's health and um, men's mental health. Uh, so we really wanted to work together and make a piece. Um, so that was kind of where we, you know, where we met each other and uh, started. We thought it's going to be set in a prison, in a men's prison, and um, we're going to come up with some great characters and see what develops. Mm. Excellent. And this is going to become a theatre piece called Selfish. That's right. It's a, um, it's the two of us play all of the characters. Um, so at the moment, there's about s seven characters, um, and we each take turns playing the characters. So that's quite a fun um, thing to do as well, because we, um, you know, you're always trying to better the other actor. Oh, the audience laughed at him when he played that guy. Okay, I better do that too when I get to playing that guy. <laughs> yeah. And the process. Tell us about the. So you told us a little bit about, about the inspiration. We're doing we're doing lots of research, and it's it's very much an ongoing thing, you know. Like as an actor, and and especially when you're creating a piece, um, it's such a conglomeration of people you meet, things you know, things you learn along the way. But also a lot of it comes from you and 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 the people in your life. You know, that's how I create characters. Um, one of the big resources that we use is my notes from the time that I worked in the prison. I took really um, detailed notes about the people that I met because their stories were so um, so strong um, and their characters were very strong too. So um, yeah, that's a big part of it. I've got a huge journal that uh, that I kept from that time, so we love delving into that. Um, yeah, and we've done, we've talked to um, yeah, ex-prisoners and also um, people who work within the prison, because um, it's not just about um, inmates, it's, it's also about staff who work within the prison. Um, and also um, listening to interviews that have been done on the radio of um, men who have gone through that system. Yeah, but I, I think it will be ongoing. I can imagine that at some point we'll go in and work within the prisons and um, I would love to take the piece into the prisons and you know get feedback and develop it in that way and that brings us to how it's going to come to fruition and mm. we know that we've you've got your give a little page and um I th we thought we'd ask you about funding and how easy it is to get funding for something like this yeah um I reckon it's really hard to work in the arts in New Zealand. I think that the um, funding is uh, that's available for people to make work is getting less and less and less. It's becoming even harder to be a, uh, an artist in New Zealand. Um, so you have to be creative not only in the work you're doing on stage but also in the work you're doing behind the scenes. Um, it, it's funny because I, um, I've i never really worked as a producer so this is the first time I've in my career um, of 15 years where I've um, actually asked for money in, in this way. Um, you, you can go through Creative New Zealand and get funding short, um, what was it called, quick response grants and we actually got a quick response grant for our first, um, our initial kind of get together to start to throw around ideas and develop characters. Um, but yeah, uh, 
it's a funny thing asking other people for money, especially when they're your friends and your colleagues. None of us have much money, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I guess that's why give a little is good because you're reaching out to broaden that ask reach, do you think? That, yeah, yeah, It's it's been good for me because I'm making contacts with um, people that I haven't um, been in contact with for a long time. I just uh, sent out, sent the page out to um, my scholarship fund that I got when I was 16 to study overseas. So, um, you know, you, you do have to be creative and thinking about people who might be interested and, and also able to um, support the arts in this way.